Hi, my name is Alex and this is the first short tutorial video of a series of tutorial videos that we'll be giving on our program RFM. Uh, to start off, we will just go over the basics of entering model information and navigating around the graphical user interface. So opening up the program, this is what you will see first is the new model window. This is where you will enter your general data. So first start off with entering the model name. I will enter video 1. You can then enter a description for your video. For mine I'll just put first tutorial video. Next you can organize your models within one project folder. For this I have my project folder set to tutorial videos under training. You can also have a description for this project folder. If you would like to add a new project folder you can do so by going to create new project and then entering the name, description, and selecting what folder you would like to put it under. If you would like to create a new folder you can use the create new folder or browse button right here. You can browse your computer or also make a new folder if you would like. We can cancel out of that. And the next thing to go over would be the type of model. For this example, we will be using uh, a 3D model. And you can also choose a 2D model as well. And you can choose the plane you would like to place the model in. Next, you can classify the type of load cases and combinations you would like to use. You can create combinations automatically uh, based on or according to any standard you would like. For this example we will not be doing that. Next you can customize the orientation of your global z-axis, the positive orientation. For this we'll, we're going to leave it as upward and you can also change the orientation of your local z-axis and for this example we will keep it as downward. You can also create templates for your model as well. So if you create custom load combinations you can save those as a template. You can then open these templates as a new model and your custom load combinations will be saved. So we'll click OK out of this dialog box. To start, you can see up at the very top we have our version we are running of RFM and the model name. Under that you have your toolbar which includes a variety of different buttons that are organized into panels that can be moved around and organized. If you would like, you can go into view and go to reset the default. You can reset these to a default layout and they will be organized. Under the toolbar is your project navigator. This is where all of the model data will be stored and organized within folders that can be expanded and collapsed. Below you can see that we have our add-on modules we will go over these in a different video, but these become very handy for design. Next to the project navigator, we have our table, which includes model data as well for nodes, lines, materials, and you can get into a lot of details within this table. And you can also input model data in this table through an Excel file by exporting or importing into an Excel file. Below this table we have our status bar which can turn the grid off and on and also turn our snap functions off and on along with changing the type of grid we are using. We'll stick with Cartesian. And then that brings us to our graphical input area. This is where most of the modeling will be done and we'll get into the details of modeling within the next video. If you would like to have a more simplistic view and minimize the area around here, you can turn off the, the project navigator along with the table and you have a better view of the model you're working on. Now to navigate around the model, there's many different mouse functions such as clicking in the scroll wheel to move the model up, down, left, and right. If you would like to zoom in and out of your model, you can scroll in and out with the scroll wheel. If you would like to rotate your model, you can hold down control and click the scroll wheel in, and this will allow you to rotate your model. You can also rotate the model by, by clicking in the scroll wheel and right clicking at the same time. This will also rotate the model. As well as we have many different keyboard functions if you would like to not use the mouse. You can use the arrow keys to move the model up and down and left and right. You can also rotate the model by holding down control and using the arrow keys. And if you would like to zoom in and out with the keyboard, you can hold down control and hit the minus and plus button. 
Also, if you'd like to change the color of your background, you can do so by going up to Options, going to Configuration Manager, and double-clicking on Standard with Black Background. You can also choose the Inventor Background if that's something you prefer, which is the Standard Inventor Background. There's a lot of many different options you can go through within this Configuration Manager. I'm going to stick with the white background for these videos just because I feel as though members and colors contrast well with the white background. You can also get to this configuration manager by going up to the cog wheels in the toolbar. So I hope this first video was helpful in allowing you to get familiar with the graphical user interface of RFM and how to input your initial model data. In the next video, I will go over how to model simple structures such as beams and surfaces. Thanks for watching.